Hello everyone, it's Raphael here from XX Raphael Productions, and I'm going to be showing you how to add in a camera or CCTV effect in iMovie, okay? So, if you have another editor like um, Sony Vegas Pro or perhaps After Effects, for example, those can, um, those are easily able to add effects, but if you're using iMovie and you are on a strict budget and this is your best option for now, well, I found a cool way to do it using overlays, and I'm going to be showing you how I got this effect. So this is a camera recording, kind of like a stock footage that I got on the internet and I simply got it from going on YouTube and searching up camera recording stock footage where these like, these have a lot of like cool effects you can download. Now make sure before you download it, make sure that your uh, video is royalty free because you definitely do not want copyright, okay? so. I looked for specifically one that is without a timer because I want this to kind of loop depending on how long the video is, alright? Now, this is the one I picked and also there are plenty other cool thing, cool um, effects that you can use. For this one, I I noticed a time. I, you can look at a time where one is 30 minutes, one is 5 minutes, kind of one can be 2 minutes. And let's go ahead and show you how to do it, okay? So, after finding the one that you like, Download that as an mp4 and then I'm gonna go ahead and import my um, first clip So what I'm gonna do here is kind of show you the clip that I've decided to make So I'm gonna put the volume down because I don't need this to have any volume All right, and let me go oops. Let me go ahead and play that um, And simply the video that I am showing you here is a minecraft video But if you have any other video that you want to import well, it doesn't really matter as long as you have a camera effect that you can put on it It doesn't really matter what you do. Okay, so for this right now It is simply me kind of exploring a crater in Minecraft Um, like I said before it can be any other thing, but I just chose specifically this But let's go ahead and now it's very simple to add in the effect I'm gonna go ahead and now drag and see my second clip which is the camera effect again, go ahead and I'm gonna drag it directly on top. So this is what the overlay is gonna look like. Now don't worry about it because it is black right now, but before we do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and resize this. So zoom out and resize the, um, the length of the video because right now my original clip is only 37 seconds. And now it is a perfect match, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go ahead over to um, the opacity slider. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag it and now you can also drag it as much as you want to depending on how dark or how bright you want your footage to be okay so now what you're stuck with is a recording it kind of looks like you're recording and now just to make it more realistic I'm going to go ahead you know click on the very bottom that is your original clip click on that and I'm gonna go ahead to the clip filters tab which should be the um, eighth tab directly before the information and I'm gonna go ahead and go to um, clip filter. And that should bring up all these options. And now look at um, the video as I go ahead and drag around. See, I'm able to make it look more realistic as if it's really a camera being filmed. Now, there are some CCTV that you can just leave the original one, but in my opinion, the best ones are either sci-fi or raster, either these two effects that I'm currently choosing. I'm going a diagonal way, okay? I think I will specifically choose raster because it has, you know, those um, horizontal lines in it. And now, if I were to go ahead and let me go from the beginning now. If I were to go ahead and start from the beginning, now it really looks like I am actually being filmed. Now, what if I were to make this footage a lot longer? Well, like I said before, I specifically chose one. Let's say, let's go ahead and make it longer, okay? So, you gotta go ahead and add in another. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this. So this is in case if you want to make sure that it lasts longer. Um, so let's go ahead and play it. Now, if you notice, obviously as I were to make it longer, the effect will disappear because it's only been set to 37 seconds. Well, let's assume that, okay, I know that this um, video clip is much longer, but let's go ahead and assume that the video clip you got is only 37 seconds as well. Well, gonna just go ahead and copy the very top, so highlight this. If you're on you know, if you're on a Mac, Command-C, and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, drag it directly before 
directly in the beginning of the second clip and copy and paste that and again just resize that to however long your new clip is so it should be it should be a flawless transition if you notice so three two one see that it's like as if nothing ever stopped so that is how that is simply how you add in a cctv or a camera recording effect so i hope this video helped you out thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next iMovie tutorial okay so like I said before, this is only if you are on a strict budget and you only have iMovie as an option, this is how you do it. Alright, and feel free as well to go back into Clip Filter and mess around depending on which, which is the best color for your clip. Like I said before, my personal favorites are raster or sci-fi, but there are plenty of other cool effects you can use. So thank you very much for watching. This is Raphael out.